The reason I'm doing this video is I want to win $64,000. See, a while back I made a video on building a slide over dialog using Headless UI and Vue.js. And inside that component, there is a button that opens the slide over. Now, the $64,000 question is how can we open the slide over from a parent component rather from within the component itself? So let's quickly go over our starting point and then move on from there. We have a page with cart component that holds the shopping cart component, which is our slide over. Inside the shopping cart, we have a cart icon button that sets is open to true, which opens our slide over. Then to close the slide over, we listen to the close event on the dialog, or we can click the X close button. So we open the slide over, we can click on the overlay to close it, or we can click on the X button. Now the question was, how can we open the slide over from the outside? Assuming we only need to do this from the parent component, which is our page with cart component, one way to do it would be to use props and events. We could have an is open reactive value, so the const is opened equals ref, we'll set the default to false. Let's import ref from view and we'll send it as a prop. So we'll do is opened equals is opened. We'll then need a button that will set this is open to true. So we'll do button open cart and on click we'll set is opened to true. Then inside the shopping cart component we'll need to accept the new prop. So we'll go here and say const props equals define props is opened and this will be a boolean. Next up inside our template we'll need to replace the old reactive value with the is opened prop. So we'll do props.isopened. If I go in the browser, refresh, click the open car button, the slide over opens. However, I cannot close it. That's because the set is open function updates the local is open instead of the prop. We could try and do props is opened equals value, but that wouldn't work because is opened is read only. What we should do is emit an event and have the parent update the value. So we'll do emit and the name of the event will be toggle and we'll pass it the value. To access the emit function, we can do const emit equals define emits and pass it an array with the emitted events, which will be toggle. Then on the parent component, we can listen to the toggle event and update the is open value. So we'll do at toggle, and this will be a function that will receive the value. And we'll do is opened equals value. If we go in the browser, refresh, click the open car button, the slide over opens. We can then close it using the X button. And of course the old button works as well. So what we did here is we basically moved the state that controls the opening of the slide over to the parent component and then allowed the shopping cart to update the is open value by emitting a toggle event. This is also known as parent child communication where you communicate between the parent and the child using props and events. However, this button would stop working if we were to move it inside a different component because the relationship between those components would no longer be a parent-child relationship. They would be sibling components. And to communicate between sibling components, we need a different pattern. So let's say we need to move this button inside a top navigation component. I'll create the component. We'll have script, setup, and then template. We'll have a div with padding of four, flex, justify, and BG gray 100. Let's paste the button, remove the click event handler, and then inside the page with card component, we'll import the top navigation component. And if we go in the browser, here it is. In order to make that button work, we need a central piece of state that can be shared between multiple components. This is also known as a store, and Viewfree makes it really easy to do this. We can create a stores directory, and inside this directory we'll have a cart.js file that will simply export a reactive value. So we'll have export const cart equals ref, 
and let's import ref from view. And here we'll have is opened, which will be false, and set is opened, which will be a function that will accept a value, and set that value to this is opened. Basically, we are trying to move the parent state into a reactive value that can be shared with all the components that need it. So here we can remove this and this. Then inside the top navigation component, we can import the cart store. So we'll do import cart from stores cart.js. And then on click, we can do cart set is open to true. Now inside the shopping cart component, we can remove pretty much everything and just import the cart store. So import cart from stores cart.js. And then here we'll do cart set is open. And instead of prop is open, we'll have cart is opened. And that's it. If we go in the browser, refresh, click the open car button, the slide over opens, and we can close it. The inner button works as well. So to communicate between parent and child components, use props and events. To communicate between sibling components, create a reactive object and then import it where needed. And that was it. That's how you can communicate between parent, child, and sibling components in V3. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye!